more powerful, more stronger. Okay. Increase the speed of your punch. Speed. Oh. How fast your fist travels from your torso, close to your face, going towards the person's face or towards the body. Okay? So, distance, time. So, the distance between your hand going to the person's body or face or I mean uh, the face. Uh, okay? Yeah. And how long it takes. So, with velocity-based training, we're able to increase the speed of the lift at the same time with you carrying a weight so mas heavy ka na as a person so let's just say a squat you're loading up like 10 pa or 100 pounds on your back so it's 164 plus 100 pounds so 264 na and you're trying to lift it up you're trying to stand up from a squat the how fast you're able to lift it matters with your speed so let's just say we take out that weight from your back from a squat and you do a squat it's more faster. Yeah. 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 So, that's the thing about velocity based training. Uh, so, with the added load, let's just say a bench press, a deadlift, a squat, you're able to lift it as fast as possible. Then, without the load, bad weight ka lang, you're able to squat, you're able to hinge, you're able to move towards yeah. making a punch to a person, to an opponent. Uh, it's much more faster. Velocity. Yeah. Unlike na, Oy, buhat buhat ka lang, buhat na, palaki ng katawan. Palaki ng katawan, it cannot, it, it's not something that's definable. Uh, in terms of conditioning, oh, okay, okay, yes, malaki siya, ganda ng katawan niya and everything. But, how fast you're able to make or make that punch, or able to move side huh? to side. So, uh, uh, so nag-iintindi ako na yung concept, yung pagbubuhat mo, kailangan may, may, ano, ganoon, para, yun yung sinuturo eh. And with numbers, you we're able to make it more, I don't know, more uh, objective. Uh, like when I train John Paul, if he's if he's able to say his, I know his landmine punch is the power is I know 360 joules or watts. I want to make it better. So uh, 360. Sometimes it will go to 400. Sometimes 500. So his punch is getting higher with the numbers, and that excites an athlete. Uh, Nakita nila yung nai-improve sila with the numbers. Unlike na katawan lang. Oh, laki na katawan mo, that's good. Physical aspect yeah. it also matters kasi mas bata ka, that means more form yung muscle mo. Yeah. Mas bigger yung muscle mo. More capability to be able to exert more power. Yeah. Kasi if you're a smaller athlete, it's less chance na mas malakas yung, kata- yung, yung punch mo. Mm-hmm. Kasi yung muscles mo may be underdeveloped. Unlike a person na who's been in a farm, nag-aararo, na-develop yung katawan niya, he has stronger muscles to be able to do work. Mm. And he has ha- higher capability to be able to make a punch, to be able to move. That's... Mm. So we'll be doing that. So I'll show you numbers now. Okay, Sige. ito muna yung squat. Have you uh, lifted before? Not for a while. Not so for a we'll test. do like basic lifts. Yeah, I'll show you the numbers again. Ito yung speed mo. At least, ito, uh, you'll, be able to able, you'll be able to experience velocity-based training. That's what we do sa ERP sports then. Ah, yes. And we'll uh, also try, ano... Very uh, technical, ah, very scientific training niya. And also, ano, uh, we'll also try... So, uh, velocity-based training, we usually use this for off-season bulking to power phase namin. So, uh-huh. there's specific phases eh, okay. in terms of training. So, let's just say, we're preparing for Encuentro 5, mm-hmm. May 21. That's oh, the tentative yeah, right. date. Yeah, okay. um, I'm currently provided a month to bulk up the fighters. So uh, that's my uh, general preparation phase. So that's where I make them stronger, more powerful. So lalaki katawan dapat nila within a month. It's a little bit smaller. Usually it would take around 8 to 12, 12 weeks, around 2 to 3 months. Yeah. But I have to compress it. Pero pinapalaki mo yung katawan, eh. kailangan nila kumuha ng timbang. Mm. You oh. have to be oh, careful. How do you do that? So, um, what, what you should manage is their intake as well. Uh, okay, so I have my fellow coaches to be able to at least make sure na portions to sila, they're not eating too much. Because um, what we're trying to build is muscle. Yeah, but how do you sustain the energy needed to do those kinds of training with so little intake? Balance lang. So, in terms of little intake, you want them to eat much because the thing about um, boxers is they have 
high energy output. Yeah. That means because of their level of activity, they can burn more than a thousand calories in a single session, or it could be okay. like a, a thousand calories in a in a session. So with, with that being said, grabe yung amount of calories that mm. mm. And if you're letting them eat lower, chances are when they're in the ring, when they're doing the workout, matamlay sila. And that's okay. where nutrition is key okay. in training. And it doesn't mean that they lang kakainin nila, they're gonna maintain the weight. No. It, um, one determinant of weight is calorie deficit. So deficit meaning how much you're able to output, so your yung workout mo or your level of, of activity towards the day, and your input on yung kinakain mo we, you're putting inside your body. So when you're talking about a deficit, your intake to, or your output should be a little more higher than your in what you're putting in. So how you're able to do that? Increase your level of activity and or decrease your intake. If you're trying to cut weight. Okay, so for now, it's off season for our boxers. What we want to do is we want to bulk them up. Uh, Kasi it's not weight cut, eh. It's not always weight cut season for boxers. Hindi yun uh, okay. advisable. So there's a time for you to weight cut, there's a time for you to bulk up. You don't want them to bulk up like a bodybuilder. It's not possible with their level of training. Uh, uh. The, the, their boxing trainer will not allow that level of development. They yeah. will allow the level of development towards them being more powerful, <laughs> being more patak. So dapat translate yung, because we're not we're not in a sport na yung katawan nila 100% will make them, mm. ano, will make them the best boxer. Check on ano si si Fury. Yes, Probably yes. Yun, but he's very technical. But how he's able to sustain his conditioning towards the fight is incredible. Yeah. It just doesn't show physically, but okay. in terms of performance, nandun na. Okay. And that's what we want to achieve with the boxer. Yes, we want them to have a six pack, ganda ng shoulders, malapad sa, yes. But we want that to be able to, trans- to for us to translate that towards their sport, towards yeah. boxing. Post ko to, ah. Post ko. Okay lang. Oh. Ano naman to general sa mga conditioning. Oh, yes. okay. So, ano, uh, Lecture pala pinunta ko dito, ah. Dito rin. <laughs> Thank you for the lecture po. Yeah, uh, <laughs> translate it. Okay. So, okay. 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 Ok